Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report for the 16th of July. I'm on the ASX here on the uh, one hour chart, we're looking at an impulse wave to the upside here in terms of wave one, ABC for wave two here. We're looking up for wave three here. So we're looking for some sort of uh, correction across this level here and then a push up to uh, make wave five here of one here. Now, thing here is that um, if we look at the 62 area here um, but probably look this market could start stalling to the upside here anywhere around the 150 and then we've got group two in here haven't we 65 72 and 80 in here so look anywhere in this space here this market can top out from this point so once the market makes a new high here then you're going to have to bring this um, this trailing stop up and keep it sort of close to to the move up there. But at the moment, we just need to leave it out of the way here while wave four plays out through here. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll just leave that with you. Um, now, the thing here is that once these five waves complete here, then we're going to have some sort of uh, corrective move, some sort of ABC move. So that will pull back to the 50, 60% uh, area, wherever it is there. And um, what we need to do here is we need to um, take profit here for this anywhere, sort of anywhere above, uh, anywhere around the 150 and above or use the trading stop loss. I'll let you sort of handle that. Um, the next long trade in here would be taking the top of this second move out here. So an A and a B and a C wave here. So you know, we've got some here, so we can use these here. So we need that, we're going to take profit up anywhere above the 61.50 or have a trading stop, right? And then we're going to wait for the ABC correction. And if that wave B here is taken out here, then we can go long again. Now, the reason I'm saying this for is because um, uh, there's this can also end here as a bearish pattern here as well. It's, it's um, a little bit... Uh, tricky I think a good thing to do would be to watch the US video because then you'll sort of understand that what's actually occurring is that um, Apple Amazon Google those sort of stocks that have been leading the run to the upside um, they have topped now and have given an impulse wave to the downside. The S&P 500 has also got another little five waves to finish up here. And then it's got a chance to actually move lower from that part and point and come down lower from this point. So this is why we need to be a little bit careful up in this area through here. So we're going to get out um, and use the trading stop or, or if you can count once wave four is shown in here, then wave five will push up. It may get to the six two here, which is the next level. So 100, 200, 300. And, um, you know, anyway, if we're trading up to the 200, we'd get out of the 200 and then wait for a classic trading levels pattern there anyway. So I just want you to look after any long positions that you have in the market, especially anywhere above the 6150. You'll need to be uh, cautious about that. So this is the, the bullish pattern that we can uh, look at um, and we're looking at it and we're trading it. Um, but now we need to uh, tighten things up in this space. Now, there, it, it, it could move up further. We know that um, the uh, the resources, the iron ore, um, is is uh, moving up strongly. Um, so I just will have a look at that. I think so. Um, let's just have a little look here. So this is Rio. So stock code comes up in top of here somewhere. 
So Rio here. So with Rio here, we've got one, two, three, four, five here for one, and we've pulled back for two here. So we could look at this as one, two, three, four, five here for wave three. So one and two and three and four here, and then going up for wave five here. So wave five would be one and two in here, the third wave in here, and a fourth and a fifth wave to go in here. So it's pretty much the same as the... Um, the uh, the ASX 200 as I just mentioned. So um, after five waves, one, two, three, four, five here, then we're going to get a correction after that, aren't we? So that's the normal thing to do here. So we would be looking at something like this here for this. So that's why I think that we just need to be careful in this last little five wave structure to the upside. This will be the same for um, so let's have a look at FMG. We haven't looked at that for a while. So that will be doing the same thing as well here. So we'll look at um, all of this here being the third wave up. One, two, three, four, five. It's nice and long and strong here. That would leave the fourth wave here, um, probably to here with a one and two in here. Then one, two, three, four, five here. The third wave. So a fourth wave and a fifth wave to move up. The fifth wave won't be much because the first wave here is quite small. So the next level here, um, 15 is a medium level, but so is $16.50. So $16.50 would be a target for FMG. So once these stocks get up here and top here, then they're going to have a correction. I mean, the good news about uh, these is that I won't go into that right now with that. Um, a bit too complicated to uh, get into but we just wanted to focus on the five waves from the March low here and this will be the same for BHP slightly different maybe but uh I'll have a little look here same same here as well so uh wave one here ABC for wave two here, then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, back for the fourth, and going up for the fifth wave. So in this case here, it's got a, uh, you know, I was trying to figure out before if these were overlapping wave structures, but obviously there are a series of ones and twos, ones and twos, and ones and twos, and we're going into the third wave now. So BHP could get up um, closer to $40 area obviously there's resistance at 38 here that will play out here that top these tops here and we look at um we look at number eight always as a profit taking number so but we've already been through that so it doesn't need to go through it again it will go through it to a degree but not to the same degree as this so it can vibrate here until it finds support but it can move up a little bit further but we're looking for five waves up into this move here up into the 40 area there so um these can top out and the banks are pretty much the same as well to a point well not all banks but if we look at cba that will be the same thing as well it will be topping out in its last sort of little five waves the other ones don't need to top so in this case here, we can look at this as one and two in here. And I'm not sure if this is one. I think this is all of the third wave here and the fourth wave here and going up into the fifth wave here. So this will take us up into $74, $75 here and then top out at that point. So all these stocks um, uh, which create the index um, are about to top. So I'm concerned about this you know, this last five wave structure here. So I'm thinking that um, we could still be looking at, if I go back to the daily chart here for a moment, and this is what I'm thinking about with um, like the, the index here doesn't, you know, it, it gets pulled between, you know, different sectors. So it kind of ends up being a bit of a pizza really. So it can be a little bit tricky, but um it is possible that this wave four here can be sitting on this low here, and um, and, and we move up here higher with those other with those other markets. Um, but um, it's also possible that this is still the A wave here because we've got a five wave structure here, and then this would be an A, then A B C for the B wave here, and then five waves up for the C wave here, and we're looking for this to come up to well the old high here, thirty two hundred area through here, so then it can pull back at this point, and this is how it would pull back uh, in this space here. Um, 
Yeah, so we've got to cover both things really. So uh, this little five waves that we've just been tracking at the moment here, I mean, once it has its five waves, it's going to correct anyway, as I mentioned on the 15 minute chart here. So just come back to that. So on the 15 minute chart here, we're looking for one and two here, one and two and three and four, five. so third wave, fourth wave over here. Um, and a fifth wave up here that could take us, you know, anywhere up into this space. Um, but once that tops, then then we need to be mindful um, at that point there uh, with that. Um, yeah, so just coming back to the daily chart here, I'm just a little bit concerned. And this is, I'm trying to find a balance with all of this in terms of uh, looking at the, the NASDAQ, uh, the Australian stocks, what they're doing. Uh, sort of trying to bring it all together. Um, it's it's not perfect. I mean, we could, um, you know, this obviously could move up further through here, and that's why um, we're going to look to go long again after we get these little five waves here. So once those five waves come in and they top, then we can go long again on the top of the B wave, as I mentioned. I think that was on the hourly chart, was it? Yeah. So on top of the out, so we need these five waves to finish and then we can go long on the top here or better still on the B wave top here and then we're continuing to the upside. But I just think that there's a chance here that the market can pull back from this point here based on what I can see in the US. So that's what I'm a bit, um, a bit concerned about. Um, otherwise, yeah, this is the, the bearish pattern here. So really... Um, it's not like we're trading way above the top here at this stage. Um, and yes, uh, we can put this wave four over here and look at this as wave one and two. You know, we've, we've looked at that and that's possible. And we're going to, you know, as I mentioned, counter that. So one and two and three and four and five here, we can go long above those points here. I just want us to be aware that we don't get sucked in, uh, you know, really thinking that all those markets are pushing up higher and um, you know, and you go and pile into those markets, only for the market to turn after these five waves here. So yes, it could come up to here, have an ABC, and then continue to the upside, and we'll take care of that at that particular point. But we just want to be aware of this larger uh, corrective pattern here, um, which is also playing out on the S&P 500 as well. So um, I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.